In this video, we will talk about the break statement and the continue statement when they are used in loops. The break statement is a way to immediately exit from a loop code block, and it ends the loop. So here I have some generic loop syntax with a conditional break statement. I will immediately exit from the loop code block, and then we are done. We continue along our way. So the break statement is, is a hard exit kind of an, like an emergency exit from a loop. The continue statement also breaks you out of the loop code block immediately as upon um, entering this statement. But instead of finishing the loop, you go back around and test the condition again. So you remain in the loop code block. You break out of the code, you break out of the loop code body right here, but you continue in the loop. So the continue statement allows us to skip maybe some work that's being done in the loop under certain conditions, whereas the break is a hard exit. Now there are some dangers to be aware of when using the continue statement inside while loops. Because the update in a while loop often comes at the very end of the code block body, if you were to, under some condition, reach a continue statement and, and exit from the loop before you do the update, you might get stuck in an infinite loop where the condition, the conditional variable that got you to the continue never has a chance to update and you're stuck. So it's something to be aware of. You can use continue statements in while loops, you just need to be careful with them. In the for loop syntax, it's, it's much safer to use. Because in a for loop syntax, the update takes place outside of the loop code block. So whenever you encounter a continue statement in a for loop, you, you, what happens is you exit the loop body, and when you exit the loop body from a for loop, you go around, do the update for free, and then you go check the conditional expression before entering the loop body again. So when you put a continue statement in a for loop, you always will get the update statement. Let's do a couple quick examples. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is let's just create a loop that prints the numbers one to 100. So we'll print all numbers from one to 100. And we will use this loop to kind of illustrate what continue does and what break does. So this is a counter controlled loop. I'm gonna use the for loop syntax. So for sim integer i is equal to one, while i is less than or equal to 100, i plus plus. This counter control loop is our start value is 1, our end value is when we, re when we reach 100, and we're counting up to it by 1s. Inside the loop body, we'll, we will just print our counter. So I will say console.write, insert a, let's put two spaces here, insert our counter variable, and we'll just print them all on continuous lines. Let's look to see how this, what this looks like. Okay, so I've printed the numbers one through 100. We have a little overlap in the output here, but we should be able to see all of the numbers. All right, for our first example, it, I'm gonna go up here and build some logic. I'm gonna say, well, if our counter number variable i is, let's say if our i is greater than or equal to 10 and our counter variable is less than 20. So this will be true for all values between 10 and 19. I'm going to put the continue statement here. And let's see what happens and then we will discuss. So I've printed here, let me minimize this a little bit. All right, so here I'm printing out all the numbers from one to 100, but if we count up here, we see after nine, we have a, a skip from 10 all the way up to 19. So the numbers 10 through 19 were never printed. Then from 20 onwards, all the numbers seem to be printing. So what's going on here? Well, what happens is for the numbers uh, between 10, before the counter numbers between 10 and 19, I this logic becomes true. I hit the continue statement. I exit from the for loop body before I print the, num the number. Then I come around update my counter to the next value, check to see if we're still under 100, and then we go back in. And so we are updating our counter through this loop, but we're, we are continuing out of the loop before we get to the print statement. 
Now once we've counted up to 20, 20 is no longer between 10 and less than 20. So this logic becomes false and I can skip the code block and print the number 20 and beyond. All right. So the continue statement is a way of breaking out of the loop. It doesn't matter how much logic it is in. The continue statement will always break out of the, the nearest loop that it is inside. All right. Now I will say if i is greater than or equal to 75, we're going to break. And let's run this and then discuss. All right, here my output is counting from 1 to 9. I'm skipping 10 through 19. And then I'm counting up by 1s from 20s all the way up to 74. But once I get to 74, we exited the loop. So what happens is we our counter got up to the value 75, and then we reach this expression right here. If i is greater than or equal to 75, once this became true, we hit the break statement. And the break statement broke us out of the loop, and we are done. So in summary, the continue statement is a way of exiting the loop early, and then we go back and you know, update the counter in a for loop and check the condition again. We're still in the loop. The break statement is a hard exit.